Well, at Miami Valley, we began to see a large increase in numbers of uh, very combative, uh, out of control, frankly psychotic patients uh, presenting to our emergency room uh, with stories of having taken bath salts. Uh, one of the problems that these individuals reported is that starting the drug would make you want to redose and redose until you essentially run out of the material or seek medical attention. Um, many of the people presenting uh, were had to be restrained chemically with uh, benzodiazepines and other sedatives in order to keep them from injuring themselves or in fact our staff. Uh, they're dangerous people uh, and they present a significant problem to first responders, EMS personnel, law enforcement. Uh, at around that time in uh, late 2010, uh, we formed a, a task force uh, to sort of evaluate this and uh, serve as a clearinghouse for information for first responders, let them know what they might be getting into. Uh, as the epidemic sort of uh, reached its peak in the summer of 2011, uh, on certain days our hospital would become in fact inundated with these cases. We were getting transfers from other hospitals who lacked the resources to handle a combative psychotic, out-of-control patient. Uh, we at Miami Valley have a, a large hospital. We obviously have a large security force. That is sometimes what's needed to deal with these people. Uh, very difficult to control. Uh, one young man one day, uh, intoxicated on bath salts, drank his own urine. Um, we, you know, that kind of thing is not unusual uh, for an intoxicated individual. Another problem with these medications, like uh, Attorney General uh, indicated is that they last for a long time. Uh, we may have to keep someone hospitalized for several days, up to a week, uh, in fact, in order to get them to return at least to a baseline uh, level of behavior. Um, I would say that in October, when House Bill 64 passed, uh, within a couple of weeks, we're noticing a pretty significant decline in the number of patients presenting to the emergency room with these these kind of complaints and these kind of problems. Uh, that has continued. We've seen less and less of these people. What we still see are the hardcore users, so the people who really uh, enjoy the high they get with bath salts and uh, uh, starting to mix it with other drugs. We're starting to see those kind of, uh, those kind of intoxications as well. Um, one of the problems, I think, um, that we're just starting to see is the people that make these drugs are smart chemists. They're, they're not, they're, they're people with means and they're people with the knowledge and ability to just change the structures a little bit. Um, there's a new generation of synthetic drugs on the horizon. They are far more hallucinogenic and I think will result in far more psychotic, uh, difficult to control behavior as they become more prevalent. Um, I, I think we in the medical community are certainly looking for uh, some prevention here, and that's, uh, I think, what we're here for today. Uh, talk about preventing this next wave of, uh, of synthetic drugs.